everyone, it's Laurie from Cook, Scrub, Craft back with another process video for you today. This one is basically um, kind of a, a kill a kit process video because I'm using up pretty much, um, well, a bunch of leftover pieces from the October Best of Both Worlds kit. And, um, you know, I think I said the last time, like, oh, when I get around to killing a kit, I'm going to, like, make a bunch of cards and film that process video. I haven't done that yet, and I do still have some paper scraps and some embellishments left from the kit. So stay tuned to the channel. I will be making some cards. It's on the to-do list. Um, I was actually running out of adhesive at the time that I made this video. I do have some new adhesive now. Thank God, because working with the red tape like that is awful, especially if you, like me, put stuff down and then you're like, oh, I want to take it up. And you can't do that because it's, it's, it's glue. <laughs> so it doesn't come up. So anyway, card process videos will be coming if you've already subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. And you will uh, see that in your subscription list. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on when some card process videos go up along with all the other scrapbook videos that I post. So I'm using a lot of um, the leftovers. That orange paper I think was from a Doodlebug paper pack um, and everything else is just, just stuff that had already been cut into from the kit. And you can see kind of, I, I moved it, but I had already kind of laid out how I wanted everything to be. Um, I didn't have a, a background pa paper at the time, um, but I just kind of layered things up. I had the, I had a photo. Um, so before even filming this process video, I like I said, I laid everything out and I, I had the whole idea of how to put it all together, which really made, I mean, <laughs> I say I say it made made it so easy. Um, this is still like a ten minute process video, sped up. Um, but you know, it was basically like a 20 minute, a 20 minute, um, layout, 20 minutes, took 20 minutes to do once I just, um, once I figured out how I wanted everything to go and because all the pieces were small and they were just like bits and paper strips, it was very easy to just layer them up biggest to smallest essentially. Um, you know, I've got like a, a yellow a paper strip and then I just put a longer, um, white with black polka dot strip on top of that going uh, from the top of the page to the bottom. I am matting the photo with several pieces of patterned paper right here. Originally the rainbow paper was going to be a little bit longer but because I'd done some of uh, the I've done some paper tearing with it I just didn't really like the way that it looked because the paper tearing wasn't it was like on the bottom and the that that flo floral piece that I'm working with right there that didn't have any on the bottom so I was trying to keep things like similar um was just having paper tearing on the side so I did cut the rainbow piece down a little bit which meant that I ended up not using a third piece of pattern paper where I had originally thought I was going to and that's okay doesn't matter again I'll use it on a card it's actually still out on my desk I'm looking at it right now so you can tell that also I am a very messy scrapbooker I don't know about you guys but I have the best of intentions to clean up my space after I create something um, I have the best intentions. There's that piece of paper I was thinking of using. Not going to fit, see? I have the best intentions to organize my stuff and get just like get everything clean before I even sit down and start. Um, and that doesn't happen because, quite honestly, I would rather be scrapbooking than, um, than messing around with cleaning. I just don't want to do it. So my space is very unorganized. My space is very messy. I do need to tackle that at some point. It's on the to-do list. Maybe it's in year's resolution for 2022. Yeah. So I'm like, is that the year? Did I say it right? Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. So anyway, now I'm adding in a little banner strip there and I wanted it to go um, behind the photo, but because I use that red tape, see how difficult Oh, I do have a little tiny strip of um, double-sided adhesive there. But even that, that like peeled up part of the paper. Okay. So I wanted the, the branding strip to go behind the photo, but because I used the red tape, I couldn't peel the photo up to get it to like, you know, just shove it behind. So I just cut it into two sections. So it looks like it's going behind, but it's not really. Um, great little tip. If you ever have pieces of paper, I think I do something similar with this. If you have pieces of paper that are not long enough and you want them to go behind something, just cut it and then you know, put the top piece goes at the top, the bottom piece goes at the bottom. Use a ruler to make sure they line up perfectly or not, whatever. Um, I did use a ruler for this one so that um, it did look, you know, like 
fine. Um, and then the bottom piece of that I'm actually going to use for a little bit of the journaling. And these are all, that, that's, uh, I mean, it had like um, washing, clothes washing symbols on it. So I just cut off the very bottom of that tag because uh, that didn't make any sense. And like, when am I ever, when am I ever going to use that? It's just kind of a, some of these like embellishment things are kind of weird. Um, there was like the, the cat that I used there. It's like a cat on its back. There's a couple other animals that were part of that embellishment pack. And I'm like, mm, I guess so. I mean, people have cats, people have dogs. That's fine. But I hate when I get embellishment packs and there's just stuff that I can't use. But I did kind of make it work this way because in the photo, my daughter is wearing a, a handmade mask based on the book Where the Wild Things Are. And so like the creatures in that book, I'm, I'm like making a tie to cats. So it sort of makes sense. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. Uh, the Grow Word is also part of that embellishment pack. I'm going to use a Not Just for Boys Kid Club stamp that says Wild, because of course where the wild things are, I figured that would be very appropriate. And this is a photo that was actually taken in the summer of 2020. So I have to go back and add it to my summer 2020 scrapbook album. I uh, <clears throat> forgot to include it. Forgot to print it out. That's I, I don't know how that happens. I just don't. I have no idea what's going on sometimes. So those hexagons and then some of the little word phrases, those were also from a Not Just For Boys Kit Club kit. I got their kit back in February um, and I enjoyed working with it, but then I really got into just doing the Chamel Best of Both Worlds kits um, because I, I liked the, um, you know, I, I like scrapbooking along with Chamel and I was like, I have to have the same products that she does. Um, so I haven't done, I haven't done another Not Just For Boys Kit Club kit. Um, if I had like unlimited resources, unlimited monetary resources, I would just buy like every kit, every kit that comes out every month, right? But I do not have unlimited financial resources. So I have to be a little, um, a little careful and a little, uh, strategic with how I spend my, my scrapbooking budget every month. So the best of both worlds kits have been working for me and I'll probably continue doing stuff with them into 2022. If you guys are part of a kit club, I would love to know which ones you do in the comments below. So I'm adding a little bit of enamel dots. I love enamel dots. And I really like the colors in these. See, um, again, this is a this was a fall themed kit. So pretty much all of these papers, like they were the fall collections. But I'm using it for a photo that is not fallish. So that's another thing that I really like. I think Chamel does a great job of picking pieces that are sort of themey, but they don't have to be themey. <clears throat> And sometimes she does use them in a themey way and you don't have to. You can, you know, even copy her design but do something totally different or copy her design and use totally different papers too. You don't have to use the exact same thing, same things that she does. <clears throat> so um, I really had fun just kind of taking all of these leftover bits, finding a space for them. Um, I feel like when I have random photos like this one, the best thing to, to do with them is to find those leftovers, find those scraps, find those uh, old embellishments, and just kind of like make a hodgepodge layout because nothing has to be, nothing has to be um, perfect. It doesn't have to go with a specific theme. You can just kind of like mix and match and that's, that's really, those are the layouts that I find to be the most fun. So here I do with the stamp. Um, I love this stamp. It's nice and big. And I think if I didn't have paper layers and I wasn't stamping on a photo as well, um, it would have turned out a little bit better. <laughs> the L gets a little messed up. And luckily, there's my head. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm stamping and it's not working well. So I tried to like, I mean, you know, the clear stamp blocks make it really easy to see where you're placing everything. But for some reason, I just couldn't get like the L and the D clear enough. Um, and so I try, this is the last time I tried, and I, I do think it's because I had several layers of paper, and um, so I just took a, a black marker and kind of filled in the rest. So best laid plans don't always work that well in scrapbooking, but it is what it is, and I made the best of it, and I'm sure that you've had those experiences as well with scrapbooking. What I need, I think, somebody has a cool, like, 
um, it looks like a butterfly and she presses down on it and rubs around the whole the whole block. Uh, that's I think what I need. That would be really great for, for stamping to make sure that everything gets covered and all the ink you know bleeds into the paper properly. But as it is, I do not have one of those. So and you're seeing it. This is like a real true non-professional process because I just do this for fun. I used to I, I'm on the challenge yourself design team. I used to be on some manufacturer or kit club design teams. Um, but for right now, like mainly what I'm just doing here on this scrapbook channel is just for fun and just to connect with other scrapbookers and crafters, share our designs and our inspirations. So I hope that this was inspirational for you. If you have any comments or questions on the products or techniques that I used in this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!